Sunday school. Hey! Welcome to another Sunday. Yeah, we brought him back. Yeah? <laughs> Koki was like, please, can he come back? I think she's got more questions today. But before yes. we get there, let us pray. Pasi, you pray for the boys and girls at home. All right. Well, let's go ahead and open up with a word of prayer. Make sure you close your eyes, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and pray. Lord, we want to thank you for another Sunday. We can wake up. We want to thank you for the weather we want to thank you that we are alive that we can breathe that we can move we want to thank you that you're a good god and we want to thank you that you love each and every one of us and so as we come and enjoy another sunday oh jesus we're willing to listen to everything you want to tell us because we want to obey you and we want to love you in Jesus' name, and everyone said, Amen! Amen. Koki, I didn't give you time to say hi to the boys and girls. Can you say hi to the boys and girls at home and in class? Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our Our Kids Sunday School. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here today. <laughs> so, Koki... Yes. I have given this whole session to you. I know you have some more questions for Pasi. Hi. Hi, Pastor M. How are you? I missed you this week. What were I'm you here. doing this week? Teacher. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. Not teacher. Oh. He's still a teacher. Yes, I'm still a teacher. And okay. I'm still your favorite friend. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor M, yes. last Sunday we didn't come to church because uh. we had to stay home and watch the baby. Oh, okay, that is good. But I have questions to ask you today. All right, if you have the questions, go ahead and ask. You know? <laughs> yes. You know the way God always knows everything before it happens mm -hmm. i know because he's all-knowing yes then mm. why should we pray when he already knows what will happen good question <gasps> very good question that is a hard question that's a very good question and it's a good question yeah mm. why do we need to pray person yes maybe we don't need to be praying <laughs> <laughs> maybe we don't need to be praying. <laughs> well you know what a lot of times when we are praying, mm -hmm. we are not just praying because we want God to answer our requests. Oh. Eh? God wants to hear your cute little voice. <gasps> Prayer is part of talking to God. Mm -hmm. When you're friends with someone, you just sometimes talk, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And prayer is talking to God. Sometimes you just want to talk. Mm -hmm. You want to let him know how your day was. Mm -hmm. You want to let him know the things that scare you, mm -hmm. the things that you're hoping for, mm -hmm. that your mommy will buy you for Christmas. Yes. Oh. You see? So sometimes praying is just talking to God because your bodies. But sometimes, yes, praying is asking God for things. Okay. Uh -huh. And God has so wanted mm. that some things you just have to ask for them even though he knows that what is going to happen will happen. But he wants you to trust him. Oh, 
Okay. He wants you to trust him. And some things, he just wants you to pray for them. Okay. So like sometimes, your parents may know you want a new pair of cute shoes. Okay. But it's always good to ask them. So God oh. knows, I will provide for you. But oh, do I want you to ask me? And then when you ask him, he opens up his arms and he, and gives, he gives you, you that wonderful gift. Oh, wow. So that is where wow. prayer comes in. So God is not an ATM. An where ATM you just means? put in. Oh, you know the ATM where your parents give you the little card and you go and put it in? <laughs> it's a KCB account or... Yeah. Or is it Barclays? Mm -hmm. Was it Barclays? Or is it is it another bank? And you put Checked in the card. On the wall. The, the one on the wall. The wall. Yeah. Oh, I was going to ask money. you to give me a high five. <laughs> you hit the fist, hit the fist, hit the fist. <laughs> yes, the one on the wall, you put in the card, you put in the numbers, and out comes money. your money. That's not God. That is not That's God. Not God. God is more than just. Mm -hmm. He's a person who wants to love you and wants to be loved by you. You. That's an amazing question. That's an amazing question. No, I've never thought about it. I just yeah. pray because I know I su I'm supposed to pray. You're supposed to pray. Yeah, but that's yeah. A, I like that answer. Yeah. And I like it too. Mm. Do you like it, Cookie? Yes, teacher. Teacher, oh. teacher also. Yes. Mm -hmm. When I asked my mommy, mm. yes. she told me, mm -hmm. God told his disciples they should always pray all the time. Okay. Yes. Okay. Do you have another question? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. All right. Now, uh -huh. as a young girl, mm -hmm. yes. my brothers, yes. Ruby and Baraka, mm -hmm. yes. how do we be good Christians? Oh, <laughs> 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 you had a brother called Baraka, yes. and you didn't tell me about Baraka. And I thought baby. we were buddies. He's a baby. Oh, oh he's a baby. <laughs> he doesn't oh. come to Sunday school yet. <laughs> He doesn't come to Sunday school. Not yet. He's still oh, a baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. Do you know, no matter what you do, sometimes we think if we pray and we fast and we read the Bible and we give God a little bit of our pocket money, we shall be good Christians. Mm -hmm. But that's not being a good Christian. Mm. That's the result of being a good oh. Christian. Oh. Ah. Oh. Yes, being a good Christian, all you have to do is ask the Holy Spirit, Holy okay. Spirit, I okay. want to be a good Christian. Talk to me and I will obey your word. Okay. And as I obey the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. as he shows me from the Bible, mm -hmm. I will end up being a good Christian. Wow. So the Holy Spirit may say, you know what? Baraka has been a little bad boy, mm -hmm. but you need to forgive him. <laughs> now, when you forgive Baraka, that is being a good Christian. Ah. Yes, he may say, you know what? You are not nice to your mommy. You need to go and say, mommy, I'm sorry. And you go and say, mommy, I know what I did was bad. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm almost crying. <laughs> and mommy says, I forgive you. <laughs> that is being a good Christian. A good Christian is one who hears the voice of God through the Bible and obeys it. Then mm. you're a good Christian. Okay. I think wow. you're a good Christian. I You've mean, brushed mm. your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, thank you so much, Pasi. Wow. Hey, those questions were hard. They were tough. Yes, and that's why yes. we had to call you oh, here. Oh my God, oh, they, they were really tough. <laughs> Boys and girls, we still have lesson time and praise and worship. So join us right after the lesson for Fun, fun Time! time. again and today I am we are here me Zoe Paula Shavivian Eldoxa Faraji Jewel Brianna and our band Gideon Michelle and Tito join us as we have fun today <laughs>
is the Lord. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, just lift your hands, go on your knees, whatever you want to do to honor him. As children, as parents, let's tell him he's the Lord. not a loser. I am a victor and not a victim. I have changed my mind and my attitude to reflect what God says about me. My faith is built on God's word. I can do all that God says I can do. Nothing is impossible from this moment on for I am a new breed a new kind, a remnant, and I am after my purpose. Yeah! Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Sunday School this morning. My name is Teacher Keza, and I'm joined by Teacher John and Kobe. Kindly say hi to the boys and girls. Morning boys and girls. Welcome to another Sunday service and I'm very happy to be here. Yay! Good morning boys and girls. Good morning teacher Keza. Good morning Kobe. Good morning teacher John. Good morning Kobe. Teacher I'm excited for today. You are? Yes teacher. That's nice. So Boys and girls, can you remember what we learned last Sunday? Tcha. Anything at all? Tcha. Mm -hmm. I tell you something. Yes, yes. Kobe. Tcha, we've not prayed. 
Oh, oh. Okay, Kobe, pray for us. Okay, let us pray. Mm -hmm. Dear God, mm -hmm. thank you for today. Yes. Thank you for always teaching us your word mm -hmm. and teaching us how to live your word. God, as we start today our lesson, we pray that you may be with us and help us to learn your word and keep it in our little treasure box, our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Kobe, for reminding us to pray. It's important to always pray before you start anything. Okay? So now, Kobe, tell me what we learned last Sunday. Teacher. What is our lesson for last Sunday? Teacher, last Sunday, we learned about Pharaoh's dream, mm -hmm. fat cows, eh, and they okay. were eaten with thin cows. But you mm. know what the lessons we, the lesson I learned? Mm -hmm. I learned that uh, Joseph could interpret dreams okay. and that your dreams can come true. And you, you see, Joseph said that he interpreted the seven years of plenty uh -huh. and seven years of famine. Okay. And he was given, he, he became, you know what Joseph did? What did he Joseph do? Joseph became the second in command in wow. Egypt. Hey. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Kobe, for remembering our lesson last Sunday. Okay? It's always important to remember what you have learned. Okay? So now today we're going, we're still looking at the story of Joseph. And today we're going to see Joseph meeting with his brothers. And I want to ask you a question. Has someone ever, 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 ever promised you something or did something to you and they offended you? And then later on they come back and they're like, hmm. I need your help on this. So we're going to see a very interesting story today. A very interesting story. Yeah? And, and um, sometimes these people do think, uh, wrong things to you and they expect you to just be okay with it. But it's never okay. Yeah? So now we're going to uh, read from the book of Genesis, chapter 4, 41, and verse 1 to 38. And yes. teacher John is going to take us through it. Okay. Okay. We will get, uh, we will get our story from Genesis 42. Yes. 1 to 38. Yes. So Jacob, the father of Joseph, mm -hmm. lived in Canaan. Okay. And in Canaan, there was farm wine. Wow. So he sent his one, two, three, ten mm -hmm. of his son to Egypt, since it is, was the only place they could get food. Teacher, teacher, you know, yes. I remember what farm wine is. Uh, what is farm wine? Mm -hmm. Teacher famine is a period where okay. there is no water or yeah. food, and you know, people yes. will die of hunger if they didn't have food. Correct. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, we've seen what, uh, wha what happened was happening in Egypt. But then, at the time, Joseph was already a governor. Okay? He was a governor in Egypt. He was in charge of everything because the king had trusted him so much and gave him uh, powers and he was in charge of like the whole kingdom of Egypt. And everything was under Joseph. If you wanted something, you had to go to Joseph. If you wanted to go where, anywhere, you wanted anything signed, you had to go to Joseph. Wait, teacher. Yes. So Joseph was also selling the food. Okay, you see, because Joseph was governor and he was in charge of the whole kingdom, uh, kingdom, it was his duty to oversee if people had food, if people were well fed, and everyone was okay and happy. Okay. Yeah. Now, when mm -hmm. the brothers, eh, the brothers of the ten brothers of Joseph, yes, they went to Egypt. Mm -hmm. They had gone there to buy food. When they went there, they met Joseph. Joseph recognized them. Okay. But they could not recognize their own brother Joseph. <gasps> so when Joseph oh, okay. saw them, Mm -hmm. He decided to test them. What did mm. he do? Mm -hmm. He okay. called them spies. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, they really didn't spies. know Joseph. Uh -huh. So, Joseph put them in prison for three days. Mm -hmm. After three days, Joseph gave them food, but told them one of the brothers had to remain, and they come with their, 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 their last born, Benjamin, so okay. that he could believe that they were not spies. Wow. Then I the Simeon decided to remain and the rest of the brothers went home. 
Okay. When they, they reached home, mm -hmm. they decided to tell the story to their father. Their father was shocked. Mm -hmm. Remember, he had lost Joseph. Now he has yes. lost Simeon. Simeon. Very wow, shocked. Wow, that's bad. They decided to, to go back to, to the land. But before they did that, they, they checked their grains. Mm -hmm. And they found in their sack silver in their sacks. <gasps> wow. So wow. Joseph had given them silver. That yes. is so nice. And food. Yes. And they didn't know he was his brother. They did not they recognize their know. own brother. Eh. But Joseph recognized them. Wow, That's Joseph so is nice. so kind. Uh -huh. He very, was very not kind. bitter that his brother had put him in a pit yes. and sold them. Instead, he helped them to get food. Yes. Yeah. That is so good of Joseph. Uh -huh. Teacher, I've learned a lot. Uh -huh, Kobe. Yes. What have you learned from the story? Teacher, you know what? Yes. He remember the dream Joseph had. Uh -huh. That his brothers would one day bow down to him. Yes. Do you know it came through? It came through. <laughs> and they did realize it. That yes. is so yeah. true. So, I, am no I now know that true that dreams can come true even if it's after many years. Oh, yes. Or you just have to trust God. Yes. That is so true, Kobe. Dreams do come true. Yeah, so keep dreaming of whatever it is you want to become. There's also something else we learn from this story of, um, of Joseph and his brothers. Remember when we were talking about the fruit of kindness, Teacher John? Yes. And teacher, we yes. said, you remember, Kobe? Yes, Teacher. And we said it is good to always be kind, no matter what. So Joseph chose to be kind to his brothers by doing what? By giving them grain, food, mm -hmm. and including money on it. Silver, so he gave yes. them silver. Yeah, yes. that is a good thing. We should always, always, always remember to be kind no matter what the situation is. Yes, okay. Teacher, okay. I tell you something again. Yes, Kobe, you know me. what? Mm -hmm. Joseph also had forgiven his brothers, wow. and that is why he was kind. That and you so know beautiful. what? Forgiveness makes our heart healthy. It does, it does. Forgiveness is very, very important for you as a child of God. Don't carry um, grudges, don't carry pain that people have caused you. It's not healthy because your heart will not be healthy. And God expects us to be healthy at all times. Okay? So now, Kobe, can you give us our memory verse for today? What is our memory verse for today? Our memory verse mm -hmm. comes from the book of like the name of teacher John. <laughs> First John yes. chapter 1 uh -huh. verse 9. Say First John chapter 1 verse 9. Mm -hmm. First John chapter no. 1 verse 9. It says, it says if we confess our sins, if we confess our sins, he is faithful. He is faithful and just, and just to forgive our sins. To forgive our sins. And to cleanse a new and to cleanse us. To cleanse us. Uh, to cleanse us. Uh -huh. From all unrighteousness. Teacher, tell me that name. Unrighteousness. Unrighteousness. Yes. yes. Thank you, Kobe, for that memory verse. Please recite it. Don't cram it, but recite it, okay? You can even write it down and then stick it somewhere in your room and be reciting it, okay? So, as we have learned from the story, that guilt will always make us feel bad. It will always make us feel... Uh, unhealthy we will always be worried we will always be scared but when we remember that the bible tells us um once we confess like like the memory verse that kobe has read for us once we confess our sins god is faithful to forgive us okay he yes. is faithful to forgive us no matter what and then also god presents um God, God, God is always present to hear you ask him for forgiveness. He's always there. So at, at, at whatever time, wherever you are, you can just pause and speak to God, okay? Now, I would like to invite you. If you are at home and you're watching me and you're listening to me and you're like, teacher, I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. I want him to forgive my sins. I want him uh, to come into my life and make me new, okay? So repeat this after me, okay? Let's close our eyes and bow our heads and pray. 
Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I surrender my life to you. I surrender my life to you. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Come into my life. Come into my life and make me new. And make me new. Teach me your ways. Teach me your ways that I may be a light. That I may be a light to my generation. To my generation. In Jesus' name, we pray and say. Amen. Amen. So, Kobe, what are we supposed to be doing now? It is time for offering. Yes, we should be giving with a cheerful heart. heart. Boys and girls, mm -hmm. please give your offering through the details on your screen. And the boys and girls in class, please yes. do so also. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. So, Teacher John, would you close for us so that we can say bye to the boys? With a word of prayer? Yes, with yes. a word of prayer. Now, let's bow our hand and pray. Yes. God, we give you thanks and praise for enabling us to see mm -hmm. another Sunday morning. Yes, Lord. We have learned a lot. Please open our heart and mm -hmm. our mind yes, to receive Lord. you, O Lord. Mm. And with that, we pray, we say, Amen. Amen. So, bye. Mm -hmm. back i hey. hope you have enjoyed your lesson yes <laughs> what were you learning about again <laughs> our trivia is going to be a bit more than about that Chai, you've not allowed me to say hi to the boys and girls. I was going to. Oh, you hey. are getting touchy touch. I know. <laughs> Don't forget, Koki is in the house. <laughs> okay, Koki, please say hi, and then Pastor Msembi will also say hi again. Can you say hi? Hi, boys and girls at home. Yes. Welcome to Sunday School. Oh, we've done the list. <laughs> Oh Lord. She's getting all excited. Oh, it's she's excited time. today. It is fun time. It is fun Pastor time. Sambi, you want to say hi to them again? Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to another Sunday. I've been having so much fun. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Me and teacher Esther and Koki over here, we are having so much fun. So but I welcome. Hope this fun time, yes. you're going to do better than Pastor Yes, M. you better do better than And? Thing. <laughs> Coggy over here. She just bit my finger. <laughs> so, we go with our first question. <laughs> Egypt is an interesting place and we read about it many times in the Bible. So, we are going to do all things Egypt. Egypt. Yeah, you guys are good. Yes. So, Coggy, are you with me today? Yes. There's a yeah. name. Uh huh that Egypt was also called. I am learning it, it's called Mizraim. And one of the sons of Noah was the one who was called this. What was his name? Or oh, his family, his lineage came from this. This is too hard for you. Oh. I'll give it to you, Pastor Sam, but this is really hard for the kids. You know, there's a meat that is called the same name that begins with an H. It's a meat. Ah. And it's called Ham. Ham. Oh. <laughs> so was, who was called first? The Nyama or the Pasha? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, but hey, Ham was the father of Mizraim. Okay, yes, fine. Yes. Well, well, well. Okay. <laughs> that is the Bible teaches us. I know. Yeah. I know. Can you imagine? So three of these people went to Egypt. Mm -hmm. Three. One did not. Yes. In fact, God told him not to go to Egypt, despite um. there being a great famine in the land. Oh. I think, I think, Koki, you can answer this question. Child, try. You will try. You try. So there was Abraham, there was Isaac, there was Jacob, and there was Joseph. Only three out of those people went to Egypt. Who do you think it is? Teacher, was it? Who Teacher, didn't it? go? Who didn't go to Egypt? Sorry, I'm, I'm telling you the wrong answer. <laughs> Sorry, boys and girls. Question. I'm even oh. saying answer. Oh. Who didn't go to Egypt? Yeah, was it Isaac? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. we are so excited for you, Cookie. Yes. Oh Lord. When you say hi to the class, you really do wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so this man was warned by an angel. 
Pastor M, this is for you. Yes. To take his family to Egypt uh. in order to save his son from King Herod. Oh. Who is he? Oh, the man was, was told... told by an angel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. That he takes his family to I think, Egypt. Yes. Yes. Mm. And his name starts with a J. Ah, Koki, are you with me? Yes. I think we know the answer, don't we? Yes. It is Joseph. Joseph. These guys are doing so excellent. <laughs> I should have made the questions oh. harder. <laughs> so, when Moses killed an Egyptian, nah. uh, uh -huh. he ran away. Yes. Where did he go? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I know he went to the wilderness. I know he also <laughs> went. Was it Congo? <laughs> no. It wasn't Congo. <laughs> no. Was it Somalia? No. <laughs> oh, Cookie. What do we think it was? Do I give you a hint? Yeah. Yes, teacher. When Gideon was fighting, ah, he fought these people. He fought these people. Yes. Where do you think that was? It starts with an M. In, yeah, the Midianites. He went to Midian. Yes. So it is. Yes, it is Midian. It is the Midians. That's where Moses, Moses left Egypt yes, and went and to. Ran to Midian. Yeah. Uh -huh. The Egyptian king was called Pharaoh. And somebody said, since it's an African word, it is Pharaoh. Yes. What does the <laughs> word Pharaoh mean? Oh. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I wasn't given the answer. No. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> because <laughs> you are a pastor. <laughs> that has no everything. <laughs> Pharaoh means big house. Oh, it, it's so true. You knew really? all along. It means. I thought the he didn't big know. Big house. I thought he didn't <laughs> know. Cause Pharaoh was the father of Egypt. Oh. And so because he was Pharaoh, he was the father of a big the big house. house. Oh. Pastor M. Yes. So I can call my house Pharaoh. You can call your house Pharaoh. If it In is fact, big. you can call the fridge Pharaoh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> okay. The last question that you can call the fridge Pharaoh. <laughs> Joseph married an Egyptian woman. Ah. Koki, Koki, I hope you can answer this one. Who was Potiphar's daughter? What was her name? Ah, tell ah. me I don't know that one. Okay. Koki. Ah. Pasi, you can help her? Starts it starts with an A. a. And then an S. S. And, and then, then an, an e. e. And, and then, then an S. E. And, and then, then an, an A. a. And then a T, and then an H. Can you say that? Asenath. Yes. It's all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, she was sweating. Oh, your temperature's a little hot. But you're good. Oh, it's okay. You've done really, really well. Let me clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Boys and girls, clap for yourself. You've done so well. Those questions were hard. They were sweating hard. So, mm. we've come to the end of our lesson. We've had a lot of fun. <laughs> I think we should ask Koki and, and Pastor M now just to teach our whole lesson. Just the two of them. They have so much fun here. So, Koki. Yes, teacher. Last time, Pasi prayed for the boys yes. and girls. Can you do that for us now? Yes, okay. Do that for okay. Boys and girls, let us close our eyes to pray. Dear God, we come before you this day. Lord, we want to thank you because you have been with us throughout our class and all the things we have learned about Egypt and Pharaoh and Joseph. Lord, we ask you to bless us as we start a new week and even as we go to school, Lord, we pray for you to protect us and to also protect our mummies and daddies. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 So have a wonderful week, everyone. Until we see you next time. Bye. Bye.